lobbying and single voice for the R&D industry. It brings the whole R&D teams from every sector in the country together under one roof. Well, IRDG were able to put us in contact with a number of like-minded companies who had already established a formal innovation programme. I've gone to IRDG events, I have spoken at IRDG events. Now more than ever we need uh, research and innovation in, in Ireland to kind of drive economic recovery. IRDG is an innovation network led by industry for R&D performing companies and third level colleges throughout Ireland. Our membership has more than doubled in the last two years. Our membership comes from all sectors of industry. Whether you're a startup or a multinational, the IRDG is a go-to organisation and network for you. Ultimately, everything we do is connected with R&D and innovation. We break it down under five pillars of activity. Representation, funding and support, innovation networking, collaboration and learning. It's critical that we have a single coherent voice in the promotion of Irish hub as an R&D facility. To have an organisation like IRDG that's an advocate purely in the research and innovation agenda I think is super important. People talk about Twitter, they talk about Facebook. Those are services and they required innovation. And the concept of service innovation was unheard of four or five years ago and now it's very much understood and a joint voice is essential for that. When first we came to the IRDG, we were very much a startup and we didn't know our way around funding and tax credits. So the IRDG were able to demystify that. They were able to clearly help us understand what the rules were and point us in the right direction. IRDG were key for us in putting together our new biocompatibility capability application for R&D funding. Where innovation is happening right now, it's actually bringing together disparate pieces of domain knowledge from different industries and actually looking at how they might work together. We've got a very wealthy database of consultants and expertise. IRDG showed us how we could leverage ourselves and promote ourselves with uh, the foreign direct investment type companies. Working with other industries outside the pharma group and talking and discussing with people who have experiences in innovation and new product introduction, we found to be very beneficial. Any networking opportunity is an opportunity to learn something. Now, or did you present that to us? It's taken away this myth that R&D is the domain of the white coats and complicated high tech people. When you go to meetings and you see that while well, the people working in these high tech sectors are the same as people you have. It has been the exposure to, I suppose, new processes in companies that we wouldn't have been really dealing with before. The Timber Research Institute in Cork, which has nothing whatsoever to do with food really, had given us potential projects that we could work on together. The IRDG have developed great networks into the universities and it's the ability to share these networks so that we can actually develop better products and services into the future. I've personally attended several IRDG events for example, a Lean Product Development event held in Cork recently where an industry expert, uh, Ron Massatelli, delivered an excellent programme in that field. The Industrial Research and Development Group, working with Irish agencies, has done tremendous work with companies, uh, both small and big, in helping them uh, to develop their products, to develop their services and to transform our economy. I would also like to thank the IRDG for its work over the years to provide a voice for industry-led R&D in Ireland and to help secure funding for industrial R&D, a crucial element in Ireland's competitiveness. It's a collaborative forum first and foremost and, and, and that's, that's what IRDG means to me. The way that we're going to create advantages is create new value and a lot of that value is going to be derived from research and innovation. If your organisation is active in R&D, you need to be part of this growing innovation network.